So somewhere along the way in the development of Super Mario Maker 2, the most garbage online ever played, uh, they, they didn't think this one through here. So in the development, they're like, all right, there's going to be levels that people can make where you have to finish an objective before you complete the level. As we can see here, the goal grayed out, and we need to get two big 50 giant coins. Whoever gets that gets a little flag above their head to finish the level. Like, it makes sense. You know, you want to do certain things in the level. You force the player to do certain things. Yeah, except that all falls apart when you're trying to compete against each other to finish the level first, right? Because all you have to do is just jump on the dude's head who completed the objective and then finish the level. And everyone knows that. And it just, it's just the biggest shortcoming ever. As you can see, me, Blue Toad here, Pink Toadette, we're just chilling at the end, waiting for somebody else to clear the condition, find these damn giant gold coins. It's been, you know, a five-year-old made this level so they could be right out in the open or they could have to jump through thousands of hoops to get it. And I'm sure, based on how long it takes Mario to come to the end here, uh, probably he was probably doing something, you know, maybe he was like milking a cow or something or freaking attacking some llamas. I don't know. He's over there all the way on the left. He's, he's, he did a lot of work and here he is super happy. He's got the end objective. He's the only one that can finish and my lazy ass just chilling at the end and, and just watch, watch how it unfolds here. Bop. And then another one for disrespect, and I just end the game. And it's that easy, you know, I just stole it right from him. I just waited for him to do all this work. He's over there slogging it out, okay, all the way in the beginning. He's doing math equations. I don't know what he's doing. But he looked like he did a lot of work there, a lot of time invested, and this game rewards you for being as lazy as possible. All you had to do is just jump on this poor man's head to complete the level, and that's it. I was rewarded for being a lazy ass. And yeah, I'm just watch it one more time here. And Toadette's doing the same thing. That's the strategy. I don't even know why you would go and get the objective anyway. Luigi and Mario are just freaking battling it out over there. And here we are just teabagging each other at the end, waiting for the objective. Lame, sad, poor game design, but uh, you know, you gotta take advantage of it. Jump on his head here, and then another one for, <laughs> for disrespect. And you just call it a day. Excellent strategy on my part playing the game, you know, the way it was designed, but uh, yeah, it should just not be like that. Poor design. The person doing the work should be rewarded, not my lazy ass at the end, waiting for the objective to come to me. But yeah, thanks for enjoying, checking out that strategy, and uh, I'm sure I'll make fun of Mario Maker 2 even more because it's a goldmine of poor game design. So, thanks.